One of the great tools that's available within the Google Drive suite is an add-on called Kami, K-A-M-I. It used to be known as Notable PDF. Kami allows you to interact with PDFs, have students leave comments, and do some other interactive things with the documents. And I'm going to demonstrate that today. I'm going to show you a couple different ways of doing this. So uh, if you don't like what you see at first, you might see something you like better on my second demonstration. First, I'm going to pull up this Civil War Death Project PDF. I actually got this by searching uh, Google and found something that was useful for what I wanted to share with you. And what I'm presented with here, there's a gray box, a dark gray box around this document. And you'll notice at the very top of the screen it has this different kind of menu that maybe you're not used to seeing. Um, what we want to do is say open with Kami. And if you don't have Kami, you may need to add that as an add-on. I'll demonstrate that at the end. I'm going to assume you have Kami for now and just show you how this works. So I'm going to open this in Kami. It'll ask you if you want to open this in uh, Google Drive and you'll say yes sync to my Google account and make sure that you are logged into your TCAP student account to make that happen. Okay so here we're looking at this PDF document. What we can then do is use the tools that are over on the right to annotate to add comments, etc. So you'll notice um, there's a strike through mode where I can say please strike through in red and let's see what happens when I highlight that text. Crosses it all out. So if you're doing some editing and you want to cross things out you can use that. Um, if you want to highlight text, I'm going to highlight this in purple. Same thing, highlight the text you want to highlight changes it to that color. But here's where it gets interesting. You can add text mode and I want to type in red to make sure that the teacher can see that my information is mine and not and to distinguish it from what was offered to me. What was the number of Union soldiers who fought during the Civil War? I'm one of those students who guesses when I don't know so I'm going to say 36 million 123. That's probably more than what actually was. Now, you may tell your students, make sure that you use a 18-point font so that I can read it because I have old eyes. And that's how that would appear. This Kami, you'll notice, turned that document into a fillable PDF. It won't do that with every document. Some documents are protected where you can't just fill in the document. The other thing you might need to do uh, to instruct your students is if they happen to change the text size it won't change the size of the box so if they want to keep that on one line they'll have to drag their box wider but that's a pretty simple fix what else can you do you can take a paintbrush and you can write words with your paintbrush which is a little awkward or you can use it to um, circle information. It won't draw over text boxes that you already have created so that's why it's doing that. But you could circle that and then as the teacher you could come through and um, make a comment and tell the student these are not accurate please check the source I provided for you and you'll notice it puts in that little black dot so that when a student um, hovers over that dot it gives them an opportunity to write a reply. So you can experiment with um, some of these tools of what's here. Uh, shape mode, oh you need to have a premium account for that. But some of the basic things, underlining, writing, making comments, um, crossing things out, drawing on a document, saying yay check mark, good for you. Um, those things are part of the basic program and easy for you to use. So that's how you can use Kami to automatically fill in text, to draw on it, to leave comments, etc. I want to show you something else, a different way of using this tool. I'm starting back at my Google Drive list and I'm going to open my 
Deadliest Battles PDF. Instead of a bunch of text and fill in the blank stuff, I'm giving the students an infographic. And again, I'm going to open this with Cami. It tells me this looks like a scanned PDF. We've automatically processed it with OCR, so you can highlight, strike through, and underline, but you won't be able to copy text. So we have this infographic, and maybe this is the source for uh, a worksheet that we might have kids fill out. But you can also do it to do things like this. I'm going to click on comment mode, and I'm going to select uh, red for my color, and I'm noticing that this chart is making me do some math. If one person equals 50,000 soldiers, then in 1862 there were about 550,000 Union troops. And I'm going to say 215,000 Confederate troops. In this way, I'm asking the students to interact with the infographic in a way that they have to draw conclusions about the information. So this is another way that you can um, have students interact. That's about three times as many people who live inside Traverse City's city limits. Last update I saw said something about approximately 14,000 people live there. Might use that as a way to get kids thinking about what these numbers really mean. So using Cami to have students interact with infographics is another way that you can give them to think about data and to think about interpreting information. Cami will provide you an opportunity to interact with any PDF document. It'll do most of the things that you want it to do in its free version and then during the pay version there are other things you can add in terms of functionality also.